And so, of course, those things are very big um, reasons for why I'm excited to graduate. However, there is one reason in particular that I am most excited to graduate. And that is that whenever, after I graduate, I'm turning 18. Which means I can legally change my name. I can start testosterone. I can have top surgery. I can have bottom surgery if I want it. I can do all these things I've dreamt of doing since I was 12 years old. I will finally be able to be physically the man that I've always wanted to be. I'll finally be able to be Lincoln Tate Ripley. And Nothing to me is more beautiful than the fact that in a few months, it's up to me. It's at my fingertips. I can start hormones. <laughs> I can get top surgery. I can legally change my name. Do you know how ex that's so exciting? This is something I've been wanting for so long and it's so close. Today is November 9th, 2018 and I am officially one year on testosterone and six months away from top surgery, and I have never been better. <laughs> I have been on testosterone for two years. I have been post-top surgery for six months now. That is pretty cool, I have different glasses now, so that's also cool and also part of my transition. It has been absolutely wild that it has been this long. It feels both like I've been like this forever and that this happened super fast. I am super excited to continue to exist and be a boy. And so it is. I'm Lincoln Tate Ripley. <laughs> um, as of today, uploading this video, I will be three years on testosterone, which is extremely exciting um, because I'm only 21 and I didn't even think I was going to be able to have top surgery by this age. And I am over a year post-op. Um, words cannot describe, uh, the, like, every time I do one of these, like, annuals or just general, like, any sort of anniversaries of my transition, I'm just, like, absolutely blown away by how much of an impact that my transition has made on my life. For my two-year anniversary, I talked a lot about, um, people who helped me get there and feeling really grateful to just be in my body and to feel at home because I was freshly out of top surgery. I was only a couple months post-op. Um, and this past year development my transition, a lot of it has been allowing myself uh, to be more feminine, which I was kind of already doing last year as well. Mm. I've gotten to be really comfortable with expressing my femininity while also still strongly identifying as a man and really enjoying myself. I have also cut ties with a lot of people in my life who do not respect me. Uh, this is very inclusive of family members. Um, I have started really learning how to assert my own self-respect and to really love every part of me and to accept my queerness in its entirety, including my expression, including the way that I feel, and including the way that I interact with others. So it's incredible to be this far in my transition. Um, I'm considered done. I made it, babe. I'm here. Now I'm just developing. Um, but I'm extremely grateful to have lived the life that I live and to um, be here and to be living and to love myself and to be so into myself. It is so rare to have moments of dysphoria to the point that I often forget that I'm trans and whenever I say it to people, it feels kind of weird, honestly, because I don't know. I used to have this need to be stealth and to not tell people my trans identity, but I've found a lot of pride in sharing that with people and to challenge a lot of cis people's idea of what a trans person should look like because I'm very aware that I'm cis passing. Um, generally speaking, I have to say that even though we're in a pandemic uh, and life has sucked for a really long time and things still suck a lot, I am really grateful to be me and I'm really grateful to be where I'm at. So yes, three years on testosterone, baby! I made it. <laughs>